Within a linear standpoint, a linear frame of mind, individual perceives time as stagnant, not fluid, and they approach marker points of time. They are in movement, they are in motion, they're flowing uh, from event, circumstance, And they're approaching this predetermined marker of time. Many of these individuals, uh, they see this quality as being a concept of destiny or fate. When an individual begins to perceive these concepts from an interdimensional standpoint, a quantum perspective, we perceive this process as far more fluid and intricate. The individual is not the only one that is in motion, but time itself is fluid tiers, dimensions of time are fluid, changing, interchanging, based upon uh, the frequency, the resonance uh, being broadcast in a particular space-time continuum. Consider for a moment that scientists uh, upon the Earth, for a period of time, believed that the sun was revolving around the earth, meaning that the earth was stationary, and that the sun was revolving, the sun and the moon were revolving around the earth. As they developed the appropriate technology to chart it, they soon discovered that, in fact, the entire universe is in motion. The sun, the stars, the moon, the earth, are all in motion. That is a very helpful facsimile of an analogy to help understand the way um, quantum time manifests itself. It is not a linear model where you're on this road and you're waiting to approach a particular point of destiny. It is rather that there are tiers of models of marker points where an event is designated as taking place in a certain uh, lapsing of distance that we measure as time. But we can shift ourselves to spaces where that model is different. The distance between us and the destined event in question is different based on the dimensional reality we expand to. In some dimensions, a particular event needn't happen in because the same truth that is imparted through that event is evident within the perception of all who occupy that space of resonance. Consider for a moment that even within the English lexicon, we have the phrase, when the time comes. Innately, individuals still believe that time is not necessarily a linear, stagnated, progression, but that time is teeming with life, and we have the power to draw time to us, like two individuals who are passionately in love, beckoning each other. We have the power to master 
uh, lessons that would normally progress in a slow, methodical, evolutionary model. Thousands of years of progression to become more humane, to ascend to a greater expansion of universality. We can bring these lessons to ourselves, adopt and expand to them by taking what's called the short path by going to a space that transcends a linear model of time by entering into a space of oneness to receive and expand to the greater collective all of that you are and in witnessing that you will begin to witness that expression in all that is and this is the technique for empowering time to greet you now technically time is not greeting you you're shifting your resonance vibration of reality to a space to attract a new concordant dimension that has already become pregnant with the truth that was awaiting you that you needn't await for a situation of a void of an abyss in your reality to help usher you in to that truth through a lesson of without seeing what was wrong in the dynamic and suffering or struggling with that dynamic to evolve and grow to encompass that rubric of truth to bring harmony to that situation you have gleaned the truth and you're broadcasting from your inner heart that truth way before the linear progression so that your spirit can ascend to a greater vibrational reality where that truth is more apparent where there is greater light and therefore you needn't learn these lessons from struggle, strain, without the evolutionary model. This is called bringing the time to you. The technique for doing this is very powerful. Many individuals are taught about the trait of patience or the resonance of patience. The resonance of patience predicates that an individual is encapsulated within a framework whereby as if they're serving a sentence till a particular time is filled, they fulfill that time period, and then they get the relief or the objective that they wish to achieve. So to speak, they're in a press state waiting for the time to be up or for to arrive at the time what the spiritually dynamic individual should instead do is not serve the time out not focus on being patient and finishing that time the spiritually dynamic individual rather would recognize that the feeling of having to serve that period of time, having their hands tied, so to speak, and being in a state of oppression until they get the relief to arrive at that time is a negative resonance and imparts pain and suffering in their circle. Instead, they should focus on the feeling of rejuvenized elation and reunion and intimacy that will arrive at the space when that time arrives when they reconnect and re-embrace with that period carry that frequency that elation that warmth that discovery that wonder that unity and that intimacy in your every now as you invigorate that space, 
that is uh, how the time begins to flow to you and you transcend the linearity of a fixed dimensional time.